the channel, folks. Welcome back. Bo Biddle. What's up, Ben Barber? What is popping, dude? Nice My hat. Ass. That is a legit hat. That's shiny, too. Chomp Shop. Hit them up. Y'all want your hat to look that cool? Hit them up. But th that's not why we're here, Bo. That isn't. Nope. We have nope. this amazing German vehicle. Where are we, first of all? We're back up here in Clarksville at our friends Direct Autos of Tennessee. Their information should be on the screen. It if is. Ben Barber is doing his editing then properly, then it should be somewhere. Should be like on right, the bottom right, right, right. somewhere. Over here. <laughs> anyway. So that's okay. who, where we are. That's where we're playing. And today we have this, what is this? is the M5 competition or M5? It is. This is the rather. M5 competition. This oh, is, it is the, what year? The, the F80, I believe, no, yeah, F80, no, F10. Oh, I can't, I'm, <laughs> I'm losing it, man. Look, I'm, we're BMW guys that we can't even remember anymore. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. I know they're in like G now, <laughs> and whatever. But this is the competition. Uh, the biggest giveaway you can tell a competition car are these wheels. The wheels, yeah, those right? are nice, legit. Um, so this is Alpine White. This is a 2013 model, I noticed. And it only has 25,000 miles, Ben. Oh, wow. So this thing has been well kept. Right. And there's something else I noticed about this. That's a little kind of, I thought it's kind of unique, but we're not there yet. We're not there. Oh, he's going to bring it up later, folks. All right, we're going to start where we normally start, which is in the trunk. Before we get too far, I want to show, I love the rear balance and the exhaust. It oh, looks yeah, really it's cool. It's got the carbon it's, fiber. It's hard to see on camera, yeah. but that is carbon. It looks really cool. Uh, all right, so, trunk is opened. I guess yeah. you pressed the button. I did. I pressed the button uh, once or twice, and it did this thing. It, it did this thing. So. You know, they keep making these uh, cars bigger. The 5 Series is pretty large, so you've got a pretty sizable a trunk right here. Fair amount of trunk space, folks. Uh, and a nice little, I like the little storage bins. You got the little stretchy thing and then actual like. And the seats uh, appear to even fold down, so you can really uh, get in there and enjoy it, it if you want to. So it does have the nice push button closed too if you're that lazy. <laughs> Hopefully you're not. Um, before I'm gonna let Bo climb in there and get this prepared to start. I love it's got the Alicantra rear deck. Uh, it's probably got the roof and everything. We haven't looked at this at all, so I'm excited to climb in there. But first, Bo's gonna talk us through the starting process. There we Ooh. go. She's and on. Now, I'm gonna rev it just in its regular standard mode. Not a whole lot going on. Let's Nothing crazy. To, it does sound good. We're going to go to M mode. And see the difference. Hmm. Significant difference. That sounds a little different. This is a significant difference. So this being the competition package, this is the uh, twin turbo V8. And I believe with the competition package, it is right like just north of 600 horsepower. 600. I believe so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow, that's crazy. All right, well, I'm going to make my way in. Uh, one thing I just noticed as I was peeking in on that other side uh, was the, God, these door cards. Definitely a different color combo than I've ever seen before, Bo Biddle. Right, that's what I was wanting to bring up, uh, is the, the interior colors and trim. I've never seen this combination before. Like ever, and it's got these cool little things that at some point will fail but it, right now it's working which is nice uh i do like this look man it's really nice and soft this seat looks really wide and plush up in here in this in the rear uh what's the name of the stereo because it looks and this really has cool. the bang and olufsen uh stereo it looks super fancy i can tell you that nice. much i'm gonna make my way in here yeah jump in it's a big old back seat you got Ooh, yeah uh heated Heated seats back here also. Just what I need. This is nice, got Alcantara uh, headliner. We got a nice little light here, and yeah, it's kind of weird how this is shaped in here. I mean, clearly they're trying to give some headrest room, uh, but multiple lights. Looks like you can turn them and stuff too, if you really need them. Uh, this gonna... is a fancy car, Ben. Yeah, you're right. All right, I'm gonna close this door. You can start this thing back up for us so we don't have the rumble killing us, drowning us out. Uh, go in here and press a little auto or something to try to get this functioning. Maybe you have to turn to yours get some on. Air. I, yeah. I turned it down because it was uh, blowing, blowing feverishly. Really loud. But it's it is. A little warm. <laughs> it's warm in here, folks. 
we're starting to have heat functioning which is nice but uh i'm gonna have to turn it up too much or just a little oh wow now it's, it's, do off. it's doing its automated thing ben so. we need something or i'm gonna sweat to death back here for sure well, we'll talk above the wind okay <laughs> dude you got all kinds of cool buttons back here okay so up front uh it's a 13 so it is a little dated nothing too crazy though but they were key they had the same style up till the new m5 in like 2020 so i you know this is a 13 but this was pretty much the same all the way through you know just a couple years just ago a couple really. years ago yeah uh, but this has got 25,000 miles on it so this is like a, a, a like new car uh, and even by 13 standards like this thing still has plenty of features you got bluetooth audio things like that um got your lane keeping assist you can't see the buttons over here but I'm zoomed in i got it okay well this has all of them you've got your adaptive cruise control um lane keeping assist i mean i don't there's like five different driver <laughs> aids over here I, I don't more know. than you possibly all, could you've ever got need all of them. how's that <laughs> um and for many uh who are familiar with the bmw m models uh, on the steering column you do have your manual one or i'm sorry your m mode one m mode two um, and you can configure those different settings of how you want them uh, to be. Uh, you can d decide what M1 well. means and what M2 right. means, which is nice. Um, and then down here, you can just sort of manually adjust the different, you know, your steering suspension and uh, shifting as well there and underneath. Stuff like that. Now, and yes, here's where you do the transmission uh, where you can uh, kind of go into your sort of hardcore transmission mode where it's going to shift really hard and fast. Uh, probably not ideal if you're just kind of poking around town, but if you're having some spirited driving, you may want to adjust press that. one of those buttons. Yeah, yeah. Press, so, the, press that one a couple of times. You may want to press one over <laughs> here and see what happens. Open this sucker up so folks can see what's inside there. So it looks like <laughs> there's money. We're rich. Somebody dropped a dime not, on this bin. Not a ton of room uh, in there, but you can see this is kind of cool that the uh, you can lock the trunk or unlock it or whatever. Oh, I guess it doesn't open when you press it uh, and then as you make your way forward we got what is this a cigarette lighter probably the smoker package oh, actual ashtray still put in cars hilarious and then the two cup holders up front uh bmw's not known for their cup holders those look pretty functional considering right i think they at some point after the e39 realized <laughs> that they needed to make a functional cup holder for the american market dude even the ones with e60 weren't very good uh, right and the e90 they came out here, here and they yeah. were kind of yeah, I spilled lots of coffee still in my E90 Yeah, cars. I don't think it, the purpose is to not spill coffee. It's yeah. just to, like, hold your cup while you're driving like a maniac. Mm -hmm. Does that speaker fold down in and right, fold that, down out? That is part of the Bang & Olufsen sound system, so this thing will kind of flip up and flip down. So press the, turn the car off and see. see. Does it go down with the car stop? Maybe you have uh, to open the door. Oh, we're actually not off. No, we're, we're in right. that. I don't know. I'm just going to turn it back on because it's so hot. This is, these are those cars folks that have like <laughs> that's where it's they hard to figure out when the car is in park and off yeah because like one thing with these bmws um good luck to a new per a person who's never been in one and they get in here and then they try to like turn the car off and they realize like they're like how do i put it in park there's yeah. no there's no park what do i do i, I have one of these things and, and you still, still i'm still in here like what I, I, the car's not off what do i uh, so this is a really cool, uh, I guess, what would be a, almost a ten, it's a nine, eight or nine year old car now, and in really, really great condition. It sounds good, and it is still ridiculously really, fast. Yeah, let's uh, let's cut this thing down and, and go under the hood and find out where all that noise comes from. Uh, this thing is really, really nice car. I, I really love the wheels uh, on here. Wheels look really nice. Um, headlights as well look pretty cool and there she is folks there's the twin turbo v8 and then they call that the hot v right because i don't know i don't know were they doing hot yes yeah they did have the hot v they're in there and then these are the intercoolers right here and then your intake right here as well so air goes in here goes out the back circulates all the way back through and back in so that's how those turbos work but it'll they work off the exhaust if y'all didn't know uh but all right well there's she there's the powerhouse. She's at 600-ish. I believe right at like 600, but 
I think BMW is also kind of known for underrating yeah. cars, so who knows what it, <laughs> it really is. It probably has. feels way, like way more I don't power. know, maybe if there's someone in the comments that's had some time with these and yeah let us know what y'all think if, dyno, if they are underpowered as compared to stock now these are all-wheel drive form. or rear-wheel drive these were still uh still rear rear-wheel drive okay so that's cool well folks again we're up here at direct auto of tennessee this is another one of their cool rare sports car e or i guess sports sedan rides that they have y'all check them out they're Guys that run this place are specifically the people buying cars from these guys, for these guys. They're car enthusiasts, so for sure they like bringing in cool cars. These guys are always got cool stuff. Uh, so that's all we got. Y'all go to their website, hit them up. For my man Bo Biddle, I am Ben Barber. We'll see you guys in the next.